When the Putin Bay Panthers arrived for this year's Great Lakes Islands tournament, they did so with heavy hearts. Just five months earlier, their longtime play-by-play -play announcer and one of their biggest fans, Patrick Myers, took his own life. Known as the voice of Putin Bay, Myers' death was deeply mourned on the island. He is the reason that we play, and how he's the reason that we play so hard. He would come to every single game, no matter if it was away or home. During the halftime, as the Putin Bay Panthers are besting the freshman squad from Oak Harbor in their final game. He came up to Beaver with us last year, and he did every single play-by-play -play of all 12 games last year and he had no voice by the end. 12 games in two days, I'm asking Santa for a new voice in the stocking. <laughs> he'd go through, he'd come to practice in games taking video six weeks in advance to make these cool commercials. He'd go around the community, everybody get your growl on and everybody would growl with the, with the claw. That was just Patrick. And during this year's tournament, the Putin Bay teams continue to look to Myers for inspiration. He would want us to play our hardest and he would want to see us win and like, I can't even imagine his smile up there looking down at us because he's probably so proud of us right now. To honor his memory, the Putin Bay community has raised more than $45,000 for college scholarships in Meyer's name, as well as making donations to suicide awareness programs. Go Panthers! And today, above the Panthers home court, a dedication that ensures Patrick Myers will always be looking down on the games below. He, he was very dedicated to our basketball program and losing him, he was a big piece of our team.